did sign up to the Maastricht criteria. We did, um, but um, we are not a member of the euro and uh, we are not going to become a member of the euro. Um, the argument that we made back 10, 13 years ago when it was really unfashionable saying why Britain should not join the euro have been amply vindicated and the only sense in which we are in a better place is in that we interest rates get set for this country to suit British conditions and don't have to fit into a one-size-fits-all um, zone. But, I mean, what we always said was that the consequence, the inevitable consequence of a single currency area is a single political union. And you see all this... I completely understand the case for Brussels wanting to see the budgets of the countries sure. in, the, in the Eurozone. Well, let me ask you that, Cooper. It's a fiscal union. Could you envisage a future Labour government getting approval for its budget before it was announced? No, I can't. I don't think that's the right way forward. I think I am worried about what's happening in Europe. Yes. I think particularly the decisions that Germany is taking, you know, as one of the strongest economies, as actually one of the leading countries in Europe, there is a serious danger, I think, that they are leading the whole of Europe into this austerity drive that actually is going to cut growth. And what they need to do is get the European economies growing. That will in itself help bring but European made billions deficits of down. Euros available to the Greeks. I mean, the Germans are in a situation now where German money is being used to bail out, uh, bail out Greece and giving guarantees uh, when German people are working to 65 or 67 and the Greeks are struggling to work to 60. And that is always a difficulty with the Eurozone. That's one of the concerns, obviously, that we had and well, why we didn't think it was right it? For, for Britain to join. Is you know, If you think we were talking before about what was happening in the States, mm. when you have a big shock to the Gulf states in the US because of the environmental shock, right. actually the federal government can transfer resources to help them, and actually, sure, you know, that is the, the approach. It is a much Europe. harder to do in Europe. Let me just that's right. Back, that's back one, one of the risks. Economist friend here, you said, and, and many people have said this to me too in the city and in Europe, that despite the rescue package, Greece will default. It will have to restructure its debt over a longer period and probably pay 75, 80 cents on the dollar of its debt. Uh, what are the consequences for the rest of us if that happens? Well, the consequences for the rest of us uh, is that uh, we will lose, some of us will lose money, or those who hold Greek government bonds will lose money. Perhaps not coincidentally, the money put together for the European stabilize, uh, financial fiscal stabilization facility, mm -hmm. sorry, the That's ESF, right. um, is apparently uh, enough to bail out the European banking system from its exposure to southern European country debt. But French and German banks alone have exposure of a trillion euros. Uh, that, to, would to sovereign Italy, debt. that would include Italy yes. as well, presumably. Right. But, but if Greece defaults, uh, I think a lot of money will go to bail out banks for it. Though, in theory, I suppose the Greeks could say, look, countries devalue, this is what happens. Um, okay. But how can they not default? All right. Well, we thank you for that. John Monks in Brussels, thank you for that. And thank you here in London. Now we have to be uh, even more serious. To put on your... Uh, serious face, Joe, because oh. this is serious. News yeah. has reached us of a ticketing scam at the World Cup. Yes, a, somebody called Robbie Earl. Apparently he's an ITV pundit, which means his screen fades to black every time a goal scored, <laughs> uh, has been sacked after giving most of his tickets, the ones meant to go to his friends and family, why he got them, I don't know, to a group of scantily clad Dutch models. <laughs> Those are the Eurozone for you. Here's... <laughs>